Welcome back friends. Today's video is going to be a repot with me video. As you can see here, I'm starting with my Maranta. My Maranta here is a cutting from the original plant. I do own the original plant and I put her in water for a little bit over a month and a half. As soon as I noticed that the roots began to get pretty strong, I wanted to get it out of the water immediately because if you let leave them in the water for too long, and this goes for any cutting, it actually Actually, um, will be very hard for it to take in soil so very important to also know friends is that when you are repotting any plant you should always do it in the spring and in the summer I understand that it is fall now but I promise you this video was filmed a couple of days before summer ended update on this plant she is actually doing really well in this pot so far Next up is going to be my Peperomia Frost. I do have to say though, it is very sad because she is actually not doing well at all. She was thriving. I actually purchased her in March of 2020 and she had been doing great. I decided to repot her because she really needed it. Um, she really had outgrown her pot and she actually is not doing well. Also, just so you guys know, I'm going to be linking similar pots to the ones that you guys see here because i know i will get some questions but most of these pots are from little local shops and they don't have them or carry them anymore so there's no point for me to link those stores but i can definitely link similar ones from amazon that way you guys can purchase something similar this aloe i picked up from trader joe's a few months ago and immediately it started to give me babies and she was really outgrowing her pot and i thought that i was going to have to actually repot but what i noticed once i pulled her out is that she just needed more room to grow so i took some of those babies and repotted them for gifts if you are new here, welcome. My name is Leslie. I create lifestyle videos. I am a wife and a mom of toddlers. So I also create day in the life vlogs as well as some grocery hauls, healthy recipes, and as you can see, some plant content in this channel. So if you are interested in any of these topics, please consider subscribing as it really helps my channel. Up next is my pickle plant, aka Senecio plant or succulent. And I'm potting it in this um, Target pot here that my sister gifted me. I don't know if Target has it available anymore, but like I said, I will try to link um, similar style pots. Um, so here you can see that I mixed my potting soil with additional perlite. Now the soil that I'm using, I will also link below. It's called Fox Farm and it is a prepared soil. It has really good reviews and it was also highly recommended by my local nursery. Now this plant here is a succulent. So any succulent or cacti needs to have an extra, extra draining soil or a very high draining soil. I'm not even sure what the proper term is. The point is it needs to have a, I think, this is what it is it's a well draining soil so the best way to accomplish that is either to buy an already prepared one which is what i did but it doesn't hurt to add additional perlite so that the drainage is extra because this type of plants tend to be very picky indoors they're meant to be outdoors here i'm showing you a cutting of the pickle plant and when you cut those plants to propagate them you have to allow the pickle plant to form a callus, which is what I was showing you guys earlier. Once it forms the callus, then you can just go ahead and repot. You don't put in water for roots to grow or anything like that. You just allow the callus to seal and then, or I'm sorry, to form a callus, and then you just pot directly in soil. And as you can see here, I'm also adding chopsticks um, to my pod, and I'm just doing that for extra support. This is um, a leggy plant, so it does need the support. As you can see, it's very thin, so it doesn't hurt to add this additional support, and it is also thriving. This other succulent here, I'm sorry, uh, cacti that I am repotting, I've had for probably about two years or more. And I'm always afraid of repotting cacti because 
A, it's prickly, then also it's just, they're very delicate. Like I said, cacti and succulents don't necessarily thrive indoors. Um, really, they, they just love to be outside. They love full sun. So this is why I procrastinate so much to repot them, but she is thriving. She's doing well. Next up here is going to be a baby monstera. I picked up this baby monstera. I think that's what it is actually, but I'm not, I may be mistaken. If somebody else sees anything different, please let me know in the comment section. Um, this pot um, is from downtown LA, by the way, and the plant is from Trader Joe's and came in a tiny, tiny little pot, but she quickly outgrew that pot, like literally in weeks, she was sticking out of her pot and she is currently thriving. So she really liked this change. Next up is going to be these cuttings that I've propagated. Um, they actually just fell off of the plant and I just put them in water they grew some roots and so now we are potting them and they are both doing really well the little purple one it's a wandering jew and this particular plant is a dropping from my bigger plant and the plant that i have is very large you'll probably see it in an upcoming video um, that i do have um, but if you go back and watch my first potting video you'll see what a tiny little cutting i had of that wandering jew it literally fell from the mother plant that i was gifting my friend one time this was like a year and a half ago and that little cutting gave me an entire plant and now i have this other little cutting so that's super exciting this other one here that i'm potting is a pothos enjoy and she is also thriving so i'm very excited for these two little ones Here's another one of those pots. I really, really like them, as you can tell. And on here, I just wanted to point out, you see me putting pebbles at the bottom of the pots, and that is because these pots do not have a drainage hole. So that's not a problem at all, as long as you put pebbles at the bottom. If you don't do that, you're gonna have a really hard time keeping that plant alive because the soil is gonna get super soggy and it's just gonna get root rot. So keep that in mind. Here, I'm just uh, also potting another propagation. Um, this is just a vine for one of the many pothos that I have and um, she is doing great. Here is a Hoya obobata. Okay, I am probably not pronouncing that properly, but I'll put the name down here for you guys to see. But this plant, I, I think I bought it for Mother's Day, if I'm not mistaken, this year. And as you can see, she quickly outgrew her pot and she's doing really well. She really took the repotting nicely. Please let me know in the comment section if you would like to see a plan video about uh, propagation. So just not, I'm not an expert or anything like that, but just as to how I propagate my plants. Up next is this literally this leaf um, that my sister just stuck in a cup with water, just kind of, you know, as a joke and it actually grew roots and so here i am repotting she is still alive she's not grown any other leaves i don't actually expect her to but she is a living thing so we're keeping her alive now this is a monstera if you guys have been watching my vlogs for a while you might recognize her this is my mom's monstera and i just decided to kidnap her and just take her with me because my mom was killing her um there is a pot on top of this other white one here, if you guys might have seen that in the initial clip. And my mom, I mean, literally when I brought her home, I picked up that pot, I, I picked up the plant from that pot and there was so much water under it. So I just figured that this plant wasn't doing well because it had root rot for excess watering. But turns out that that's not the case. It just wasn't doing well. I'm not exactly sure why, probably because she didn't have any sunlight, but um, yeah, she it wasn't root rot. I did not need to repot her after all, but I ended up having to still change the soil just in case, just I wanted to give her better soil, hoping that she will thrive, but she actually has not. She is in the same state that I found her. So we're giving her some time. I'll give you guys an update on her, but it was a real pain in the butt to repot her. And I just hope that it's, it's worth it. I hope that we can save her. Another tip here when you are repotting is just make sure that you actually press the sides of 
of the original pot really well so that um, you can loosen up the soil and then when you're pulling out your plant it's you're not really tearing any roots or anything like that and then once you're ready to repot then you also need to make sure you loosened up the soil but that's all i've got for you guys now um another thing just make sure you water your plants right after repotting that's exactly what i'm doing here everything i repotted today is being watered as you can see if you are still with me please drop me me some plant emojis so i know who you are thank you so so much if you're still with me thank you so much for watching for clicking on this video i appreciate every single one of you guys watching last but not least if you are an avid plant lover and you're here only for the plants i promise you i will have more plant content for you i i realized that i haven't been uploading uh too much plant content but i i'm going to definitely change that and make sure that at least once or twice a month i have a plant related upload but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye